All right, so we're back, and we're gonna find out what happens in Act Three. Whoa. She seems preoccupied. Maybe I can sneak around first? Uh -huh. something on it. I guess this place is just getting more and more weird now. Maybe I should ask Linrave when I get a chance. Nope, can't escape. Pretty sure she's gonna die. But she lived to a ripe old age, right? Just an ordinary sink. FD deactivated. What about the cat? Door's locked. Okay, fine. Hey. It's almost ready. What is? And what's all this? I've been compiling a batch test case to check for certain suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Too soon, it felt like I was in there for quite a bit, wow. You were in a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Resuming compilation, 67%. Actually, while we're waiting, I have a question for you. For me? Yes. And what were you seeing? What were you seeing? Am I a terrible, selfish person? No? I don't think that's fair to say. I mean, I can't say that you did all the right things, but... I don't know how many people out could've... They were actually in your shoes. And selfish? I suppose so. I wasn't... I mean, Quincy wasn't exactly altruistic either, but... He really did seem to try his best to put your happiness above all else. Anyway, compiling 72%. I see. Well, we still have time, so I'll return the favor. Anything you'd like to ask me? Why? Hmm? Why do you care what I think? I mean, if I am what I am, why are you even talking to me as if I'm actually him? Because you. Because I'm supposed to be testing your believ believability, that's all. But so, compiling 76%. Now, would you like to ask any actual questions while there's time? Yeah. Uh, the real Quincy. If you don't mind having me ask, but quite a few years skipped by at the end of that montage. What happened to me? I mean, uh, Quincy. I don't know. You don't know? I don't. It's been many years since we've talked. After everything that happened, we just went our separate ways. Or perhaps more accurately, I did. Quincy, come back! Compiling 32%. Yeah, I just saw something weird outside. You know that fountain? There was... Oh. Okay. 
That room upstairs that you sent me in, what's so special about it? It's just never been to that particular room in all my years here, that's all. Since this place is based on the memories, it's just a void space in there, so I use it. Honestly, there are still a lot of issues with the, these reconstructions. The exterior seems to be based on a more recent memory of it, and the interior is full on. Still a lot of work to be done. Filing is at 88%. It's almost complete. There's time for just a couple more questions. Murders? So, what's with the murders happening here? I mean, this simulation is based on your memories, right? How come I didn't see it in a bit of flashbacks? Because the murders never happen. At least, I don't remember it happening. Which is strange, because it seems to be unavoidable in the simulation based on my memory. Do you figure out why? Not remember yet, but with what I'm sitting up? I'm afraid I'm about to. Filing is 94%. Well, last question, and it was stunning. So, there really were two of you that mentioned earlier. Well, in the first one, I assumed direct control of myself and this memory, so there was only one. In the resets after the murder, I have a scout and debug, and I saw I spawned another token me. You were only able to see this me because we were both from the first spawn, up before a reset. So yeah, me, and it's a token me. Filing 100%. Okay, so I've prepared a batch of test scenarios and particular variables. Notably, the location in Dr. Gaines and you, Dr. Yu, at their intent. As for you, you'll be Mazoza. Observer. Yep, all you have to do is go into the rooms and look at them. That's easy. Look at them to check if this is dead. That's easy but less appealing. It's about science. Oh, then, uh, yay? Indeed, you ready? Definitely, yes. Great, now check the bathroom. The bathroom? Yep, I stuffed them there first. Can you not? That bathroom is like the only sanctuary I had left. That's fine, I'll be monitoring and waiting right out here. Besides, you need to learn to get out of your comfort zone. Oh, we're way beyond the very concept of comfort zone. I see them. Good, now come back out. Hello? Don't seem responsive. So you just head out. So, live I did. Live I think they are moving on responsive though. Yeah, I've set them on a different layer. Okay, now go back in and out a few more times and report the status. Alright. Oh, whoa. Creepy. Now? Yeah. Still alive, but they're closer. Oh, that was me. Sorry, move them for convenience. Go on again. Oh. Oh. Lin, Linry. Dead Linry. They're dead. Oh, you sure? Yes. It's gonna be bad. It is bad. They're dead. Okay, I'm going to log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Just check the other rooms while I'm gone, alright? Wait, you're leaving me alone to check for more bodies? What's the issue? You've already seen much worse earlier. Besides, you know they're not real. I know I'm not real. I mean, in terms of realness, they're just as real as me. Fair point. Okay, then here. What is this? Your bodyguard. My bodyguard? Yeah, you protect. Okay, I'll be back soon. Good luck. Whoa, wait. I mean, do you really protect? You don't protect. What the? I am system. I've seen you in her memories. 
Good system supervises Quincy while well, Linry is gone. You know. Guess I'm gonna be babysat by a giant talking sound wave. Do not be afraid, for this is not my final form. Behold, a form even you may comprehend. A rice pot. Rice pot, indeed. Rice pot was merely the humble beginning of my AI. Oh my gosh. And now I am much more. I am creator of worlds and cooker of rice. Taste my rice. Uh, taste it. <laughs> Holy, this is, this is the tastiest rice I've ever eaten. How can something taste as good? Nobody knows. I need to know. There's no way to know. But when Quincy completes mission, reward is more rice. What are we waiting for then? Let's go find them. Rice Bot joins your party. Oh uh, yeah, you can come too. Now let us proceed to the party hall, the kitchen, and a study repeatedly until they die. That to be a better way to put that. Please exit room to reset and do it again. If you don't mind me asking, what's the point of this? I mean, we're just resetting them until they're dead. Why not just make them dead? It's not about them dying, but when they die. Each reset is configured with specific conditions. Patterns will be derived from experiment data. Hypotheses. Retested cause will be determined. Hypothesis. Interesting. Just a cat. What do you demon do? Anomaly detected. Death anomaly observed. Please proceed to next room. Are you getting longer? If you're gonna be here any too anyhow, why do you even need me to be here? I guess Quincy is also test subject. In addition, data shows Quincy presence alters results. Change things just by just being here? Why? Inconclusive, more data needed. Yeah, you're definitely getting longer. Anomaly detected. So long, but why? Stop. Hover time. Oh, so powerful. What a room in there. Wait, it just occurred to me. By doing the resets, am I technically the one killing them? Quincy is not the one doing the reset. Oh, phew. However, Quincy is cause of death by observation. Damn it. Wait, what do you mean? Professor's status only. Calculated. Ob upon observation. Quincy observation causes status. Status is death. Report. Quincy causes death. Okay, I don't like that. So long, but why? Not only detected. All current anomalies noted, awaiting Linry report. 
Okay. Whoa. Then ring your back. Henry, what's going on? Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Henry, you're scaring me. I just need a moment. What happened? What did you see out there? Nothing. You can tell me. It's not like I'm going to run with it. Henry? Henry, initial tests were completed. The hypothesis holds. Continue. Yeah. I'll be there soon. Affirmative proceeding to party hall. Hypothesis. Please proceed to party hall. It is starting. Huh, I remember this from the memories. They demo the machine here, right? I don't think the replay got that far though. This is the furthest point. Huh? Death is variable, but all death tangents link to this moment. Will they demo the machine for the guess? Affirmative. All data predicts if we leave this room now, everyone will die. Everyone here? Die? Data predicts. Now, let us leave this room. What? Do we have to? Is imperative. Leave this room and come back to confirm. Please leave and come back to this room. This scene will not be reset and deaths are re expected. What the? She's gone. Data shows Lindry's offline. Again? She will be back. In the meantime, return to the party hall. Yeah, they did. Deaths confirmed. Resetting room. Wait, if you could just freeze the room while we're near. Why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for reset. Leaving was necessary for death. What? Whenever we look, they do not die. Whoa, what happened? Wait, I'm not certain. This isn't supposed to. This never happened before. Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Core computing unit in the basement is destroyed. Destroyed, huh? Data unknown. Resetting. Now the final test. Let's see, we'll go to basement. The core computing control room? Affirmative. Web sites will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly? Unknown. Guess I'll find out then. Remember the entrance? The pool table? Affirmative. Please proceed. Okay. Wait. It is dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Take this. Take this. <laughs> Take this. I mean, sure, why not? Okay, we're down. Kinda of creepy with no one here though. What the bug? I don't remember this hall being there like this long before. 
Eh. Draw room is that way, supposedly. What was that? You did you hear that? Something's not right. Okay, you know what? Stop. Just stop it. What the bug is this? Why is the corridor so long? Where does that like come from? What's with all the weird sounds? You hear that freaking wood freaking <laughs> creepy wood creaking. Oh, it's all metal and concrete here. There is no wood. And you, what do you even do? How are you even supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife. You're just a cat. And now that I think about it, you ain't, you aren't even that long. If only you were actually helpful. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's just... It's just been a rough day, you know. I first saw the murders, and then I find out I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it really can't get worse from here. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Wait, what was that? You, you changed. You've done something else, something more. You're, you're taking the lead? The darkest hour you've really come through for me. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. <laughs> Alright, let's go observe the pug out of that computer. Well, Henry, here you're back. Yeah, sorry, I had to step out to double check something. Are you almost at the control center? I sure hope so, we've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. It seems to be looping. What well, I'll say. What, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. Should be fixed now. No oh, thanks, but why was it like that? I'm not certain, but the room should be ahead and down. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. All right. Well, we're finally here. You ready? Okay, Lenry, do you hear me? Yeah, the scene is ready to unload it. Should we uh prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your Davis stream. You only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. Uh, shall we begin? Yep. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. Yeah, it just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh huh. Do you see anything? Uh, it seems to be running normally. Although... Well... There is some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is it machine short-circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from... Event. Lindsay, the system is almost ready. What are you seeing?
ghost? Tell me. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? I don't really know why. Then, are you the reason? When I unplugged from you earlier, when I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing with a machine to log in with. As if the entire world just vanished. Am I not real either? No, you're real. You're all to this place in a way. Okay. Then how many? Too many. What is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. I may have created your world, but another has created mine. Over and over until however many layers. At the bottom of the stack there exists a world that ran the first simulation. What the? Is this the whole we're living in a simulation now? As each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. But finally, if he just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Tell me, are we at the top of the sack? You're correct. And there's something I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to me? There you go, I'm right here. That's different, he's... He's... Henry? Tell me, who are we to you? To me? Oh. Me, you are no one. But then again, that doesn't mean much. I'm not so different from that rice pot of that, this world after all. You don't look like a rice pot. No, but I certainly hope not. We also an AI. We fit for the simulation? Well, not exactly. But I sure do clean up after your mess just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything from imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. Hey, what are you? Paper airplane? Like in a bird story? Shall we? There are a lot of tangents out there beyond this one. Each one blooming into countless branches of their own. This particular tangent is being observed because it's special. 
Special because despite being at the top of the stack, it was almost identical to base reality. Everything began unfolding the same way. Childhood, your youth, diagnosis, diagnosis, just like here against all odds, I kept pushing on, never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can, while you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as you could, you met someone? When you imagine the future with, and graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. Oh, for a while at least. Though it became something else, too much to bear. You escaped, traveled the world. and wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we're from, it all followed the same course. That is, up until that point. When you came back from the trip and you found out you were pregnant, and you became ill halfway through the pregnancy, and you had to make that choice between you and yourself and the child, you chose to delay your surgery until he was due what you chose a child congratulations but please rest for now you need some time to recover but we're quite behind already we'll be transferring you to surgical unit soon i understand dang how is he doing he's okay you're the one we should be worrying about it's tiny. A little turby right in. Actually, about that. Been thinking, well, maybe maybe you should take your surname instead. My first surname? I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can think of lots of reasons why I should. I love that. Though, Toad doesn't ring as well as lost, does it? What? No, that explains so much, it's coming full circle. Do you have something else in mind? How about Neil? Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. A little Neil Watts. Base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. You made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. That's for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatment couldn't revert your decline. And you spent much of your hit remaining years bedridden. And it's still, perhaps out of his will to be there for him, you live long past your prognosis. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends. Will you use something for him for when he grows up? You left him a piece of your memories. All at that time, there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday, you hoped. When it rains, it pours. Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. Perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here, Memento Mori. 
it stirred up something within him, pushing him further as it did for you. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close, it wasn't successful for everyone. Well, Devlin. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked. All the way past the research you left behind. Despite it all, when the time came, again and again he was rejected by the Foundation over your incident. So instead he sought an alternate route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed and perfected technology. And rather quickly, he made it up into the ranks with some help from a friend. This company where he could sell access to code and hardware of the technology. A company that used it to fulfill last wishes by implanting the memories of new life. A company called Sigmund Corp. since then. In that time he's aided countless patients and witnesses as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own, accord with the hardware and data access. And today in that world he succeeded. The world that we're in and every world in the stack it stands upon. They're the result of the first functional stress test when the machine is perfected. For a successful test. This machine you built, what is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they go. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting peace lace in this world. Without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to. To see and experience all the different possibilities that life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born. I wish he'd, I'd make it a cho different choice then. Uh, I'm so glad that somewhere out there, I did. I'm so glad that he's made it. It's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundaries of set events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Terminated? It's just one tangent. Can't you just let everyone run this once? It's not just this one tangent. Well, out of the countless paths this test generated, this is not the only one that reaches point. When I speak to you on this roof, I am also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the foundation will fail and take everything with it, regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But, the world aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected. Right spot. You guys got here just in time. Can they come with us? I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there's no protocol for them. They have to stay here. Cheeky. But what happened back there? I know it was pretty scary, huh? Listen, I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. On the other hand, uh, sorry we got the world deleted. I'd say curiosity killed the cat, but I guess we weren't ever even alive. 
I honestly don't know what you're dealing with. Maybe I'll see you at a re reboot one day and find out, huh? Okay, little dude. So you heard that, right? Affirmative. I am linked to Linry's data feed, but do not worry, for I am well versed, well versed in work, and ceasing to exist. I'm shutting down daily. I'm not sure if that's the same thing, but I hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell. Until next time. Farewell, right spot. Frank's keeper would be livid. Are you doing okay? Hey, Lenry? Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of the Well, shall we go? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm ready. So, where are we going? We're far, but you'll be among good company. Now, this ride may be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like a front seat or back? Really doesn't matter to me. I guess Lindrick can sit up front. Alright, your call. Dude! <laughs> Our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones. Well, what is all this? Hey, we actually gone to the moon. We need an imposter factory coin. Are these all versions of you from Tangents where I materialized? Yes. The salvageable ones, at least. The salvageable ones. Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but. If we consolidate the one similar enough, then there'd only be one set to deal with. This is the way to end the rogue infinite loops and still keep you in a sense. Being a witch, I think everyone's here. There, isn't that all better? Oh, you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. Well, what are you doing? Did I tell you already? I'm saving the world. Finally. For peace and quiet. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It'll be in a linear illusion of little resource required to maintain. To you, it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. And then, Lindry, you get to live the perfect timeline. Lindry, there's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter when not even her own did? I've already seen all there is to see. All that truly matters, anyway. But. But what if you haven't? I mean, I certainly had my world shattered too, in more ways than one. If anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? For that matter, why does it even matter for our realities and base reality? We might not, not be the reality, but they were still our realities and all that we know. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? It's beyond that gate. It may not be real, relative to her. 
it's just as real relative to us. Who knows, maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that's truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit in time to grow old together. What do you say, Lenry? Wanna go on one last trip together? <laughs> you wait for us until then? I'll need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting.
Well, I got a good run on it. Let's just. It's about time. This is all I can manage to do. Is it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But I just wish he was here actually here. He is here. He's been here this whole time. From now on, he always will be. From now on, every way he will be. That's the end. Man. Hmm. I think I had a thousand long for those simulations, but wow. It's a lot it's a ride for sure. And the other, you are. I just can't hold it anymore. I must convince you. That's not funny. It's a little funny. But I handled that alright. Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there was nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripper. But still, are you familiar with this library of Babel? I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Ah, uh, no, that's alright. It's just a theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letter and punctuation. Anything that can be written, or ever will be, can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but 
Once in a while you reach for a book and it just happens to be the exactly what you need. What was that? A perimeter breach attempt. I gotta go. Perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Yeah. I'll have you stay for us, where? I don't be silly, we're just nearby. Nearby now, not very far off an hour ago, before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? So anyway, we're, we're going to somewhere, we're gonna go somewhere red. When? How red? Surprisingly red. Hard pass. Geez, somebody's a party pooper. Alright, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. I said, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. You might as well Neil. Who knows when will be the last time, next time we'll be able to. How'd you change up ass? It was a coat, no not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the... Somebody in there? Hello? What? Yes, yes, the series is good. This is a great advancement here. And yep, I guess with that, I um, won this right now. I'll see you guys some other time.